Hey, it's Iron Locksmith here. All right, we've got your remote three button here. For this task here, you will need a small Phillips and a flat tip screwdriver, plus a CR2032 battery. If your key ring is attached to it, don't worry. If it's not in your way, leave it on. If it is in your way, go ahead and take it off. We are using a new remote for this demonstration, so let's go ahead and get started. If you flip your remote over, you'll see you have your Phillips screw. That is your first step you want to do is remove it. And you notice as I'm unscrewing the tip, this is opening up, which is good. That means the seal's inside good. Once you get it to the point where the screw wants to fall out, set it to the side. Now the indentation right there, you want to put your flat tip screwdriver in and go ahead and rotate. And once you do, the remote comes out. If you see that circuit board come out, that is fine. Sometimes you get lucky, flip it over, tap it, and it'll fall. Sometimes you don't. If you look towards the wider part of it, you'll have an opening. But you have this little indentation here on the side. That little indentation is where you put your flat tip screwdriver in and just gently lift up the remote. You don't want to get happy and pry because you have a little circuitry in here. Now she got it open. This is where your battery placement is. You have the three little metal tabs. Go ahead and take your flat tip, push your battery out. And there you go. Since this is a new remote, we'll put the good battery back in. We're going to just push it in. And there you go. Now that we've got this in, let's go ahead and reassemble it. When you set it in there, go tip first. And when you set it down in there, you will see there are little indentations to hold it. If you put it in and it doesn't want to hold, we'll go in, stop, pull it up, go the opposite direction. They can be finicky sometimes. You do not want to get forceful with it. That when there, it's in, it's seated. Now we're going to take this part of the remote housing and we're going to join the two together. And when you do, just gently squeeze it around. It's latched, so we're going to turn around, put the Phillips screw back in. That little gap right there, don't worry, the screw will help. I will show you a little trick on these since they want to cause issues. You can risk stripping out your housing with this. It's not the best design by Chrysler, Jeep, whoever decided to make this remote this way. But we're going to go ahead and put the screw in. Right now, just go ahead and screw it when you get close to the end of it i like to squeeze the tip of the remotes in that way the key and the screw aren't doing all the work it's me putting the pressure on it now we've done that you've seen that it's sealed up well there you go you've just changed it thanks for watching sergeant locksmith go ahead and leave a comment like if this video helped you out or any other questions you'd like to put out. Thanks again for watching.